There are a lot of cases in motion graphics where you might want particles to follow a particular path. The normal way of accomplishing this in Blender is to use a curve guide force field, which works great in some situations, but this approach does have some serious limitations in other cases. So to use a curve guide, you just select a curve that's near where your particles are being emitted from, go to the physics tab, enable a force field, and switch the type from force to curve guide. Then as long as your particles are within the minimum distance of the endpoint, then it'll start to follow along that path. Now, the speed at which the particles go are determined by their lifetime value. So this is one limitation because you don't really have much freedom in how fast they move or how long they last. Of course, the motion does look a little bit slow and boring, though you can give a little bit of a kink like braid, if you change the frequency and amplitude, to make things a bit more interesting. But another limitation of curve guides is that other forces like gravity or extra force fields won't affect these particles whatsoever. So it's an all or nothing thing. Unfortunately, if I wanted to have a little bit of random motion inside of here because it all looks still a little bit too uniform, that's just not possible. Now the alternative to using a curve guide is to just use a regular curve. Here I have the exact same scene with a turbulence force field and with gravity turned off, and I want the particles to be affected by the turbulence as they move along the curve. So instead of a curve guide, I'm going to enable force field physics for this, but instead of switching it, I'll just leave it at force and give it a strength of negative five. Now when we play this back, the particles, if I update the cache, it looks like, there we go. These particles are going to be attracted to this curve, but at the moment they're just attracted to the origin point. So we just need to switch the shape from point to curve, and now it's going to be attracted to the points along the curve. So I can see it's being affected by the turbulence force field, and it's following along. Now it's following along very loosely, and you can adjust how tightly it follows the curve by adjusting the flow settings. The higher the flow, the more it's going to stick to the curve. The speed is going to be determined by the strength. So if you have a really high negative speed, the particles will be moving very fast, and if you have a very low speed, they'll be moving very slowly. So that's just a particle tip that I hope you find useful. I've definitely used it in some situations recently. If you're brand new to physics and particles and all that stuff inside of Blender, head over to CG Cookie using the link below, and you can see the entire Intro to Dynamics course, which covers all nine types of physics to get you up to speed. So thanks for watching, and see you next time.